In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix rib pain for good at home. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're dealing with a lot of pesky rib pain and need a quick fix, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. I'm going to break it up into two easy parts. The first part is going to focus on rib pain in the upper back. In the second part, we're going to focus more on the front, especially over the sternum or the breastplate. If you have something like costochondritis, that might be something you're going to want to check out. All of these stretches and exercises are safe, effective, and can be done in the comfort of your own home. The only special piece of equipment I'm going to be using is an everyday racquetball. So you can get these locally at a sporting goods department. You can also get them online, such as at Amazon. So let's get started and get rid of that rib pain right now. So when it comes to rib pain in the upper back, one of the biggest reasons is soft tissue tightness. Think muscle spasms, muscle knots, those type of things. Here is a very easy and effective way to be able to target those spots with a self-massage. I'm going to be using my racquetball. If you don't have a racquetball, you can use a tennis ball. If you don't have that, take a large sock, wrap some tape around it, it all works. And I'm going to place it into a pillowcase. You can also use a large sock. Why we're going to use this pillowcase is because we're going to be able to throw it over our shoulder, that ball, and lift it up and down to target hard to reach spots. So let's go next to a door or the wall. I'm just going to go over the level that I'm looking at and I'm going to place it off to the left or the right of the spine. Go over the soft tissue, not directly over the spine because that might cause irritation. So once we find that spot, whatever side that I'm on, in this case I'm going to be on my right side, I'm going to take that side's arm I'm going to bend the elbow at 90 degrees like this. The arm should be parallel with the floor. I'm going to just take the elbow back towards the door of the wall at that point. When you do this, it's going to engage the muscles over the spot of the racquetball. So only go to your comfort level, but you really want to take that elbow back as much as you can towards that door. Once you feel a very comfortable stretch, hold this one for up to 15 seconds. You just relax and then repeat up to five times. Another movement that we can do is to take the arm up like this, drive our elbow back towards the door as far as we can, and then lift up very slowly, hold this for five seconds, and then come back and go all the way down as much as you can, again, holding for five seconds. And then from there, try to do it for five complete repetitions, switch spots as needed, and you can also switch to the other side. So here's a great way that we can help rib pain by putting a lot more motion into the upper back. Ideally, it's best to use a foam roller for this, but I know a lot of people don't have foam rollers. Here's how we can make a homemade one. Let's take a large can of soup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place it in the middle of a bath towel, large towel, anything like that. Let's fold it over like this, and then just roll it up into a voila, homemade foam roller. I'm going to start off on the floor and I'm going to position that soup can over the upper back where I'm feeling that rib pain. From there, what I'm going to do is go into a bridge-like exercise position. So just lifting my butt up like this. This is going to cause a lot of pressure to be built up over the soup can. As an important note too, you wanna to keep the soup can centered over the back so it should be even on the left and the right. Once I get that position, what I wanna do is roll up and down just slightly over that area. And this right here is gonna put a lot of good motion into the upper back. You might get an immediate release that feels like a pop or a crack. That is completely normal. But what you wanna do is just go up and down very slowly for a couple times to loosen it up. The next part what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands, place them on the back of the head like this, and then slowly lower my elbows down towards the floor. This is going to open up the chest in the front, but you're also going to feel the shoulder blades start to pinch together in the back. Keep taking those elbows down as far as you feel comfortable. Once you hit that point, hold this for about 15 seconds, do nice slow controlled breathing, and then from there, you're just going to relax and then repeat up to five times. If it still feels like it's locked up, we can do a little bit more self-mobilization in there with a passive stretch. So let's take our elbows down as far as we're able to to build tension. It's very important that we have as much tension as possible. And then from there, I'm just going to do a quick winging motion like this. Rapidly try to take your elbows down to build a little bit extra stretch in the upper back. And hopefully you'll get that self pop, crack, or release into the upper back across the ribs. If it feels like it's not working, this is another way that you can target that area. Let's take our arms, go straight at the elbows, overlap the hands to the point where it feels like they're clapping. 
From there, with my arms straight, I'm going to lower them down towards the floor as much as I can. This is going to stretch it just a little bit differently and you might find that it offers you more relief. So what I'm going to do, keep the hands straight, or I should say keep the hands down towards the floor as much as I can, feel that comfortable stretch, hold this for up to 15 seconds, relax, and then repeat up to five times. If it still feels like it needs a little bit more, we can do a passive stretch with this one also. So what I'm going to do is just simply wing, I don't know if you just heard it right there, but that was a pretty good release across that rib in my back. But I'm just going to take my hands and then just lower them down like that as quickly as I can. And that will offer a little bit more passive movement in there to hopefully open it up. Switch spots as needed and repeat. This first exercise for the front ribs is great because we can really isolate a particular rib that needs attention. And we're also going to be able to self-mobilize that spot to help you breathe better, just move around better, hopefully with a lot less pain. So starting off with the most important thing that we need to do is find our contact point. Let's go over the sternum, the breastbone or the chest bone, and then go over to the side that you're having rib pain. Let's say that I have a lot going on my left side. Let's find that rib. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take two fingers and I'm going to roll over the area that you're having discomfort. When you do this, how you know you're over the rib is because you should do a nice rolling motion and it should feel like you're going over a mound. That would be the bone, the rib itself. So once we find that particular rib, let's trace it back to the center right over the sternum. What we want to do is go over the spot where the sternum and that rib starts and you can kind of palpate with your thumb right here and just feel for that particular spot. Once we find it, what I'm going to do from there is take two fingers for a reference point on the side that I'm having pain, pull over a little bit, and then the hand on the opposite side, so my right palm right here, this is the area that I want, the meaty portion, is going to go right over that spot on the left. The movement then from there is what we want to do is cup that rib with that part of the palm right here pull over to that side as much as we can. So we're going like this, and then we're going to go at 45 degrees, kind of like pointing our hand towards our uh, shoulder right here, and then lifting up on it. This is going to build a lot of tension over that area. You have a lot of nerves too. They're called intercostal nerves. They're very sensitive, so only go to your comfort level. If this is causing discomfort, please discontinue immediately. From there, what we want to do is take a deep breath in. What this is going to do is it's going to expand the rib cage, and that's very important because it's going to make this a lot easier to do. So once we have that, our contact point is set, our tension is set, and also we are taking a deep breath in, what I'm going to do from there is take the arm on that side, I'm going to go straight with it, and then pull it back as much as we can. There's going to be a lot of tension being built up into this area. So again, only to your comfort level. You might get an immediate pop, crack, or release, maybe even a little bit of a click in there. It's just because that rib joint is finally expanding, opening up, and you're getting gases to release. If you feel like you need a little bit more, try to take a, just a little bit more tension. So over and then up, and then roll the shoulder forward like this to put a little bit more dynamic movement in there. But you want to do this for about five repetitions, and hopefully you'll get a lot more uh, just pain relief in that area and get that rib to self-release. You can move up and down or to the other side and repeat as needed. So another great way that we can target the ribs in the front is with a modified doorway stretch. Let's go to a doorway and when I'm going to put my feet together, I'm going to go to one side that I'm focusing on. The back side of the arm, the triceps, should be parallel with the floor. The elbow at 90 degrees, the arm is just flush up against that door frame. Let's take the other hand, we're going to use that meaty portion again and go back to that contact point that we did in the first exercise. So so we're going to start off by building tension in there by pulling over and then upwards 45 degrees towards the shoulder. What I'm going to do from there is go into a pec stretch. So I'm going to lean forward into it. This is going to start to build tension in there. So again, only go to your comfort level. From there, take a deep breath in. And that is going to expand the rib cage. You might get an immediate pop, crack, or release into that uh, rib if it does feel like it's ready to go. If it still feels like it's locked up a little bit, what you can do is a little bit of a passive stretch in there. So what I'm going to do is just get as much tension as possible, lean forward into it, take that deep breath in. But on this time around, I'm going to lift up very quickly 
towards this shoulder. And what that is going to do is just offer a little bit more passive motion between the sternum and that rib to hopefully open it up and just get it to self-release. Again, these are very sensitive areas, so only go to your comfort level. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.